Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day uh, and enjoying Father's Day. Uh, I've had a couple of free hours, so I've uh, run outside. As you can see my face, how hot it is. I try to fill that time doing lots and lots in the gardens. I thought I'd do a quick uh, long form video to show you a bit more of what I've been up to um, and show you some things that are perhaps useful and helpful as a tip uh, going into the next part of the season. So the main thing for me has been to get the greenhouse ready for doing some more planting, um, ready for the uh, sowing on that I'm going to do shortly. So as you can see here, We've completely cleared the workbench and most of what was on the trellis there. I planted that outside. Um, the greenhouse has not really changed too much, to be honest. There's the cucumber over there is doing really, really well. Tomatoes are going crazy. It's very much about keeping them pruned and tied in at this time of year. As you can see, I've still got plenty of lettuce down there, but I'm eating that as fast as I can. It's starting to bolt, so I'll be putting that one out. But really, it's, it's too hot in here for lettuce at this point of the season, so that's fair enough. Now, if you come outside with me, We'll take a walk down to the garden and I'll show you some more what we're doing today. So with the greenhouse, obviously I had to clear it. So everything that was in there, I finally got around to taking outside. So here we are. We have all the companion plants planted out. So there's a row of marigolds there uh, next to the peas. This will probably be a row of carrots shortly. And this one, I will probably put in my leeks in here this winter. So for the time being, another row of companion plants. There were potatoes in here, but honestly, this year has been so unusual. We had such a wet spring. I think they rotted. I put them in there when it was very wet, but it was already quite late, late April. Um, and for the first time ever, they failed. So I've got literally two plants. So there you go. On this side, we have um, some more companion plants here. And to be honest, I completely forgot where they are. So they all just have to bloom and I'll find out where they are as a nice surprise. And then you can see where the wet patches are. One in there, I've, I've sowed some more seeds. So this is a no-dig bed and you can see it's all compost. So that's lovely. And I planted some beetroot in that one. And over here, this is currently mostly, uh, as you can see, there's, there's three, uh, five courgettes, three green and two yellow. And these are two cucumbers here. And I put around this uh, third pillar, there's some spring onion seeds in there. Around here, there's a row of, of carrots through there. And that's kind of a uh, test to see how well the carrots germinate in the no-dig bed because this is supposed to be a trial for no dig and I have found in this particular part of the veggie garden it's very difficult to grow seed because we have heavy clay soil, particularly carrots, hate it. I've tried lots and lots of sand but really it never seems to be enough so with the no dig we will see. But otherwise that's everything now that I grew from seed at the beginning of the year out in the garden. Um, so now we're going to sow some more seeds. The next uh, few reels and um, short videos will be seed sowing I think. And out here really it's a matter of rain and water so we're hoping but we do get some rain today. You can see behind me the forecast was for rain later. It's starting to get a bit darker, so fingers crossed. Now, if there's anything you want to see in the garden or see how I've done things in the garden, please let me know in, in the comments. I'm very happy to do a, a particular reel or video. And if you are still listening, please can you hit that like button and I'd be very grateful if you subscribe. So bye for now, see you later.